Hi guys, I hope that you are all enjoying your July so far. Um, you know, it's been a while since I actually shot a makeup tutorial, so to speak, and I'm really excited about introducing this one. This one is all about the non-tour trend. So basically think of this as the very opposite of contouring your skin. It's non-touring, which and in other words, is highlighting. And this is a, a technique that's been around for ages. Makeup artists have been using it. They just changed the name of it. So same thing with contouring, been around forever. Um, so nothing new, but um, just kind of like a nice way to show you guys for this video how to achieve the perfect non-tour look. So when you think of non-touring, think about illuminated, glowy, dewy looking skin. It's all about bringing the face forward instead of contouring or creating like a really like chiseled finish on the skin. So this is really about bringing everything forward. Everything is light, dewy, and airy on the skin. Think about Gigi Hadid's makeup. It's very dewy and illuminated, uh, not heavily contoured. So let me show you how to simply do it. And I'm actually going to bust out three products that I have just to show you guys how to work with different textures when you're non-touring. So um, the first product that I have is actually from Peak Beauty. And this is actually their Filter Feature Luminizing Balm. So filter feature is actually a really great descriptor word of what we're going to do. So what we're going to achieve is that non-tour effect. So it's really about creating that soft, kind of very luminous glow on the skin. And this is an all-purpose balm that can do that for you very easily. You could use this on eyes, on cheeks, on lips, on the nose, on the forehead. So it's super versatile. The next product that I'm going to show you is actually from Ilia Beauty, and this is their Polka Dots and Moonbeams Highlighter. And this is a multi-use highlighter. It does come in three different shades. I happen to have the lightest shade, and this is basically like a really pretty white, slightly gold, maybe neutral, um, light skin or like light tone illuminator. So I would say it's best for lighter skin versus deeper skin, although they have three shades. And if you happen to have maybe medium olive to tan to deep skin, the second two last shades in the collection will be best for you if you want to non-tour. I have fair to light skin, so this one is working for me well now. Um, and then last but not least, I have Honest Beauty's Midnight Reflection Luminizing Powder. And Midnight Reflection is the lightest shade of the three. I have all three. I'm going to use this one to show you how to non-tour just because it's going to give the most kind of light luminous effect on the skin. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do this with all three. You don't have to use all three products to non-tour your complexion. So when you are non-touring, you are essentially bringing the face forward, right? So where you wanna place the color is key. So what you wanna to do to bring the face forward and create that really gorgeous luminous effect is pop your balmy highlighter or your powder along the high parts of the cheek. So this is one spot. Okay, so right away you're looking for a really healthy, luminous glow. You're not looking for a chiseled contour, okay? So this is a really great natural alternative for anyone that's either not comfortable with contouring or you know they just want a nice fresh modern approach they want to look like they have a lit from within healthy glow so i've applied a little bit on the high parts of the cheeks and i prefer using my fingertips although you can use a brush for this another spot that you can non-tour is actually the very top part bridge of your nose I have a personal pet peeve as a makeup artist i see this all the time on instagram and i see this all the time on youtube it's that heavy powdery highlight on the tip of the nose. I will just be honest with you as an, as an artist, it does not work well with most people. So if you're heavily highlighting with powder the tip of the nose, it's going to make it look more rounded and it's very difficult to pull off for an everyday look. So I recommend just staying away from that. And if you are actually highlighting around the bridge of the nose or around the nose, I recommend the bridge instead as this tends to look a little bit more natural and believable. Natural is all about the look that I go for, so you'll never see me do like a really crazy chiseled contour effect. I really love a very fresh, modern approach to makeup. So, okay, so the next spot that you can actually highlight or non-tour is right above the brows. And what this does is it actually kind of gives the brows a little bit of a lift. 
So you're gonna notice right now I do have a full face of makeup on with the exception of any blush or any bronzer, okay? So I have my eyes done, my brows, and my lips. That's it. And then I just wanted to show you guys how to go ahead and achieve this last um, effect with the non-tour trend. Okay, so now I've just created a little bit more of a glow, right? So it looks healthy, it looks youthful and dewy. I can do the same exact thing with Ilia Beauty's Stick Highlighter. I'm gonna be layering a little bit, so you're gonna see this non-tour effect be raised up a little bit, so I'm gonna look pretty dewy by the end of this. But once again, using my fingertips, I prefer to warm the product up with my hands versus going right in because I feel like I have more control that way. Another place where you can actually non-tour is even around the eyes. So I will take any kind of cream-based highlighter, um, preferably something that doesn't have like too much shimmer so it looks a little bit more realistic. And I'll just pop a little bit underneath my eyebrow. And then also too, a great way to non-tour um, your lips is actually to pop a little bit on top, the very tip top of your lip color. Okay, so when you do that, it actually makes the lips look a little bit more full and adds dimension. Okay, um, another spot that you could technically um, non-tour is the inner corner of the eyes. I already had a little bit of highlighter and shimmer there. So you don't want to really overdo it with non-touring. You want to pick about three to four spots in the face maximum. Otherwise, you're just going to look a little bit too shiny all around. Okay, so now the last step to non-touring is if you are using a powder. Okay, so when I use a powder, I always use a brush versus my fingertips. It just gives me better control that way, and that way I'm not applying a heavy coat. Um, the brush that I'm using is a, a Jumbo Kabuki Fan Brush. This is from Crown. I introduced this before in my previous videos and I really love it. Um, it kind of gives the skin a very like subtle, controllable highlight. I'll even use this when I am contouring. So if I am creating a little bit more of a dimension with bronzer, I really love to use this brush. It's very light and fluffy and easy to adjust. So since I'm truly layering here, I'm gonna go over with this powder where I've already non-toured, okay? So I'm gonna go right on the high parts of the cheek to further emphasize the glow. And once again, you don't have to use all three products. Um, if you do layer like this, it's going to benefit you in that it's going to create um, a, a nicer longevity. So you're layering and you're setting your makeup and it's going to last a little bit longer. So just know that to keep everything light. So if you are using two or three products, just create very light layers. This will give things a professional looking finish on your skin. So that way nothing looks overtly heavy and it just looks really nice and non-cakey. So there we go, I'm just tapping right over the high parts of my cheek, the edge, the real like top bridge of my nose. And then of course a little bit pressed over my temples. And that's pretty much it. I mean you can even add a little bit to the inner corners of the eyes or if you wanna create a little bit more of a glow along the inner cheeks. You can go ahead and do that. Just be careful if you tend to get very oily because usually this might be a little bit much if you are an oily skin gal. Other than that, that is the non-tour trend. So it's actually very simple. It just means highlighting your complexion and bringing the face forward with various um, luminous creating products. Okay, so I am going to list everything that I have on my face actually down below including the non-tour products that I introduced in this video. If you loved it, please comment and share and let me know what exactly you loved about this video. Um, I have more videos coming. I'm gonna kind of get back into makeup tutorials and favorite videos, of course, are my favorite to do too, so those will be included as well. So thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, and share, and I will see you guys next time. See you later, bye.